and today I've been using my Nomad CNC. So excuse the other holes in here, those were from other projects, but I don't know if you can see it, I have the shape of an ice cream cone cut out here. I pocketed this, I didn't cut all the way down. This is a piece of plastic, over here they call it polystyrene, but obviously that's not what most people think of as polystyrene but it's 1.2 millimeters thick. So I pocketed 0.9 millimeter down. It didn't cut all the way through deliberately. Now the inside of this is really nice and smooth. I have to confess, I did use a much smaller bit than I probably needed to just because it was in the machine anyway and I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered to change it. So why have I done this? A lot of crafters like to use polymer stamps, but polymer stamps are quite expensive to buy. Why not, since I make my own polymer stamps anyway, why not see if I could use this as a mould? I have my UV polymer gel here. This is made by Collop. I'm just going to put some into my cutout shape. I happen to know that polymer gel is extremely sticky and so the easiest thing to do is to cover it with something that's easily removable. So I've got a piece of acetate here. I'm just going to lay the acetate on top of here and just put a piece of glass over the top. I want to press it down until it has completely filled my design. So it's gone into my design and around it. Now you do want to try and make sure you don't get any bubbles in that, but other than that, yeah, I don't think you're going to go far wrong. So let's see what happens. I'm going to give this two minutes under a very basic nail lamp. So I have now got to remove this. And it will pick up, because this stuff is so sticky, it picks up the entire stamp. And there I have a perfect, absolutely, perfectly wonderful stamp. Okay, I might have got a couple of little air bubbles in it where I wasn't paying too much attention. But if you put your gel in here and you think you've got air bubbles, just go over it with a very low temperature heat gun one of the craft ones I'm talking about, not your DIY ones, that will just gently pop the bubbles. Now the main reason you'll get bubbles in the gel is because the gel is a bit cold. If the temperature is warm, like if I'm doing this in the height of summer, I don't have a problem with bubbles at all. But here I have a pretty good stamp. It's got nice clean edges, nice and flat. I don't see that there is going to be a problem with this. So all I have to do now is to remove this from the backing, which is what I would do anyway if I were making a stamp the other way. And I have my stamp ready to use. So I've put my stamp onto a stamp block. The one thing that I would say is that because my plastic that I was using wasn't very deep, this being only 0.9 of a millimeter isn't as deep as I would normally make my stamps. But if you use a deeper plastic, thicker plastic, you can go down lower, which is what I would normally do. If I made this stamp thicker, I could use it in a stamp positioner, which does aid stamping incredibly. But because it's a very thin one, that is not so easy to do. Hopefully this time I've got the full image. Yeah, there we go. And I did get a tiny little bit there. But considering solid stamps are usually a little bit iffy even when you buy them some of them that don't stamp that well that's pretty good going for a first attempt with that method okay that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you again soon take care